Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to a new Let's Play. It is Lilo Ince and Stitch, Trouble in Paradise. This is another retrospective. This is retrospective number four. And uh, I am terribly excited to be doing this game again, kind of. Here goes. Oh, we can't watch this, unfortunately, as much as I'd love to. There you are. Hi. Listen, Lilo, I've got to go to work now, so I'll meet you in town at one o'clock, okay? Okay. Okay. One o'clock. That's ages away. Come on, Stitch. We can get some more photos for my wall. That's ages away. All right, so this is Lilo and Stitch Trouble in Paradise. I am ecstatic to be doing this, as I said. Um, I'm just going to check the volume real quick. Alright, so here we are with this game. Now, Lilo and Stitch Trouble in Paradise was released in 2002. Believe it or not, this was a PS1 game uh, at a time when really it probably should have been a PS2 game. Um, but clearly, as you will see in this game's design and gameplay and just general, you see that it probably wouldn't have made the, uh, the switch to PS2 very well. So, this is the gameplay of Lilo and Stitch Trouble in Paradise. It is basically a Crash Bandicoot clone. That is as simple as that. It's as simple as that. It really is. There's not much more to say other than, yes, this is a clone of Crash... of Crash, uh... Crash... Pro oh, Crash... Crash 2, I reckon, just in terms of the level, kind of like, you know, there's no real, there's no real variation in gameplay, there. it's just a simple game. I bought this game when I was younger, and I kind of liked it when I was young, you know, um, but it wasn't really, uh, I wasn't the only one that loved this game, it was actually my next door neighbour, she adored this game, every time she came over she always wanted to play this. Um, you know, I uh, guess I can't blame her in some ways, you know, it's, uh, it's got, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a platformer, Maybe more suited for girls because it's a female protagonist as, as the game play. I mean, not that it really matters, you know, Tomb Raider's played by a lot of men, right? Right? You get, you get the wink. But uh, this one doesn't really have that same appeal if you're catching my catching my drift. Now, these enemies here suck ass. Now, this LP was my fourth ever LP that I began, um, and I remember very well um, this LP was the one that I decided to get guest commentators in. This is where I first decided to get guest commentators. Um, I got, I remember getting uh, the first ever guest commentator was Angus, Nintendo Gen 64. Uh, we met later, we met up in real life. So, uh, with, you know, without Lilo and Stitch, you know, and the community, we may not have met up. We may not have stayed good friends. So, uh, thanks, Angus, for being there for this commentary part. Isn't that wonderful? Truly inspirational words there. So, we just beat a level. There's a hundred things to collect in each level. Um, in that one, it was whatever the hell they are. And actually, I kind of like the fact that there's a hundred things you got to collect and they're different depending on what level you go to. That adds a bit of a personal touch to it. Now, this is the game's map, what we're going to see. We're going to do the Hula School now, Hula School. You think it's another level, but what it is, is it's a link to another location. And this is actually... I just pressed the start button that skips it. It's actually a pretty smart idea. It makes the game seem like you're actually traveling to different places. Because if you go down here, you'll see that the background suggests we're going to be going to some kind of, you know, main road. Uh, the next level is called Kayona Road. So, uh, there's like a gatekeeper to each one. There's like a little mini boss there, which you have to kill. Um, you can save at these little points here. No. So now, if you look over here, you'll see that is that is the end of one level. You come back here, and that's another end of one level. You come back here. So it's like this really inter like kind of cool map. You know, if you want to travel without using the map, you can actually travel to each level as if it's like some kind of you know video game we got to get there you, if you don't want to skip you know it's like uh, it's like playing pokemon before you learn to fly you know before you learn to fl you just fly to any city you could you have to go through every level properly obviously stitch stitch can't fly so level two we're now introduced to stitch's gameplay and stitch's gameplay is a little bit better um all right, so the move you get is a breath which apparently is so potent that it can actually kill anyone uh, it can kill enemies it can eradicate them. it can it can it's basically acid you melts them look he's just dead there's just nothing left of him he's just a complete 
he's just nothing. Yeah, that, that's that's uh, that's Stitch for you guys. Stitch is just the most powerful creature in the in the universe. Um, now the thing is, right? If I didn't do, if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to get that one. I'm pretty sure if I didn't. There's some little things in the games, right? Where basically you are stuffed if you don't do it, do it like the correct way. Like if you, you know, yeah. Now. Graphically, this game for 2002, it's not good enough. However, I do, there's this kind of, I don't know, there's this feel to it where I feel like it really was the only kind of graphical style they could have had with Lilo and Stitch. It does kind of feel cartoony, and in that regard, I do kind of like it. Now, any other game, no, I think this is a colossal piece of shit. You know, gar just garbage. Just absolute, just garbage, man. You know? Uh, but. In this capacity, it kind of works. Like, I like this kind of goofy little, you know, outlines you got there and stuff like that. I don't know, you know. I'm a sucker for things like that sometimes, you know. Alright, now let's, uh, now, oh shit, what the fuck. Alright, so if you press tr the triangle button, um, you can basically, you see that meter there, when you get the coffee, it gives you enough, like, energy or whatever to, see what, should he? You can do this. Right, there we go. So, see that? Now, the thing is, you can pre cancel it before now. For example, you, if you don't jump up here, if you were to destroy these instead... There you go. You can't, you can't get at that up again. You have to basically die, kill yourself, and that's it. Uh, Alright. So, now we'll do this. Ready? I just like doing this to get enough... Uh, okay, wait, wait. Right, now, see, if you run out, if you press a uh, triangle when you do it, you can still, you know, use it from a certain point. But you can't, you can't, you can't actually use it um, unless, yeah, like once you, okay, once you're on full now, you can use it. But let's say I ran out, right, I would have to do it all over again. Um, I'd have to get the meter back to the top again before I could use it. But if I stop midway, it do that doesn't happen. So, do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, I guess. So. Now this thing here as well, if you want to get this. So, so if you don't, you know, if you knock this down, you're done. That's it. Say goodbye to, you know, anything. Right. Right. See, oh shit. Yeah, there's going to just be some left, ready? And, yeah, not enough though. No. See? So yeah. Uh, you know, I do like some of the attention to detail in these levels. Like this does, it does feel like Lead on Stitch. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's one thing you can say about it, I guess. You know, it does feel as if it would be in... You know, the, within the Lilo and Stitch universe, you know? Um, I bet you I'm missing something. That's the thing with this game, though. It is really damn easy to miss stuff. Especially, yeah, I've got a... I've got, I'm afraid I've got some bad feelings about this. Hopefully this is a 98. No, it's not. And we're seriously in trouble. Alright, so, where could the remaining two be? There was one right there, right there. I just collected it before I started recording. Um, so that's 98, that's 99, and the last one, is it going to be there? No. Oh, I don't know, that's a confusing one right there. I, f I feel like it's, oh, there it is. See, look, that's kind of hidden away, isn't it? And level complete. Sorry about that, that was a minor hiccup, a minor bump on the Kayona Road, as they would say, in the Lilo and Stitch universe. Now, Halekala. I love the um, the Hawaiian names. Obviously, Lilo and Stitch is set in Hawaii. Hawaii. Hawaii is uh, beautiful. I believe my parents are going on a, their wedding anniversary there. Their wedding anniversary passed, I think, 20 years or something like that. A uh, couple, uh, like about, about a month ago or something like that. But, but at the end of the year, I think they're going to Hawaii. So, congratulations to my parents. They're good on them for uh, making the most of it, you know, when I, the kids aren't going, unfortunately, I'm devastated, I'd love to go to Hawaii, but I'll be going to Europe at the end of the year, slash the start of 2015, so meetups available, I'm available to meet up with anyone from around bloody Europe, basically, so consult me, and we'll meet up, and Angus, there you go, boss done, next level, there's another level down to my left there, that's in the second world. This game's separated into three kind of distinct, uh, it's hardly distinct really, just collecting a different thing. Three worlds or whatever, this is Mikanu Trail, that's, that cuts, I remember that, oh, I really need to see Mitley Longstitch again, you know, I'm pretty sure during my 2011 Let's Play, I think I, I said something like, oh, I've got, to, I've got to, you know, make sure I actually, um, you know, watch the movie if I ever play the game again. And I never played the bloody game again. So, I mean, sorry, I never, if I play the game again, I played the game again, and, you know, now, oh shit, yes. Um, you know, and I haven't watched it again, so really it's my own fault. Now, I just pressed 
the square there, right? And what the square button does is you can drop a bomb. Except that was basically pointless. Now that enemy there, you need to wait for to do that thing three times and then that's it. That's the trick. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you can be in trouble. So what you do, uh, with these ones here, it's kind of annoying. In fact, it's almost useless to me. I've almost, I've found it pretty much useless in every single case, uh, doing the hold-in thing. It really serves pretty much no purpose. There you go, destroys that. It's because of what? You've got to get a certain length of close to actually... See, look, what the fuck? Oh, okay, there we go. It, it, it actually did it then. Now, this is an ability. This is the little spoon guy. Uh, the spoon guy is... Well, you, he drops, you drop a fat guy on someone. Basically, you are torturing this man by holding him inside of a spoon and then spawning him as if, you know, or, or if he's not being held, you, he's just doing teleport. So he could be on the couch, eating ice cream, and all of a sudden, you know, we, we, oh shit, shit. A there, wow. Okay, you don't know how, to, I would have had to restart the entire level if that wasn't the case. I'm serious, that would have been an absolute freaking nightmare. So watch this, ready? Destroy. It's kind of cool. You gotta admit, it's kind of cool. But is it super cool? Not really. Um, no. This little thing here, watch this little chain of events that... Uh oh god, wait, wait, wait. Hide in here. Wait. What happened to the rock? There's usually meant to be more rocks that go down here. Oh. You know, it's, and uh, obviously, you know, using basic maths, you can tell we're about halfway through the level. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, let's do that. And that. And this. Look at that. We are platforming like crazy right now, aren't we? We are platforming like crazy. Now, you can do a butt bounce with this guy. This girl, sorry, Lilo. Uh, she also has a solid dress. Uh, if you look there, see? Obviously, they want to, don't be perverts or whatever, but like, if you think about it, how is she even running around in this thing? Honestly, it must be, it must kill, it must be made of concrete or some shit. Alright. Look, look, look at the, the water in this game is just abhorrent. I abhor it. I abhor it. Ab abhor, abhor. It's kind of a weird word. Um, yeah, I abhor it. I really don't like it. Oh shit, fucking bullshit. Like, Is there any possible way? Wait. Come on, there's got to be somewhere. Wait. Come on. Oh, I got it. Wow. How is that possible? That's that's a miracle. I did not expect that to actually work. I just kind of... I guess it's like at a certain angle the jump is at its highest, you know, like, see? With the hair kind of pokes it. Oh, shit. Now, this one, on the other hand, I'm basically done. So, look at this. All the way back to the start. I tried to get this for like 10 minutes and just couldn't get it. Uh, yeah, so I have to apologize for that. But then again, really I don't because I'm the only one that had to suffer through that. Um, yes, awful, awful stuff. All right. Hopefully that we have enough. Let's get out of the way, jump over that. Ignore that because we don't need to do it. So yeah, this is the trick. Just get out of the way, hit him like that, get close to him, but not close enough. All right. Well, not too close. I really like the background of this, and I just, like, these, these bits of Lilo and Stitch I've always loved. Towards the end of the level, it, like, kind of transitions back to civilization. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of, it's a really minor little thing, but I, I really do appreciate it an awful lot. Okay, I mean, this bit here doesn't really show much, but that bit there kind of does. You see it in Guava River, too, quite a lot. I love the ending of that level, actually. There's some great little attention to detail in this game. Surf Shack. Okay, here we are back again. This is the Surf Shack. This is like from the movie, you know. Hey, look, you can see the skybox up there. See the corner? Yeah, skybox. All right. Little enemy guy again. Th these things get repetitive after a while because really the only difference in them, once you get to a different portion, is the amount of health they have. Like this guy, I think he only, I think he still only has two. There, there you go. He has two bits, yeah, but then they get like seven or eight bits. It's like, okay, okay, we get it. You're going to hit us out, you're going to throw shit at us, and that's it. Okay, yeah, we got you, we got you, we got you. Do -do 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 -do. Now, musically, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the music of this game. You know, this this is a real retrospective here. You know, what my opinions have changed and stuff. Marley Beach, you're in the words of Mau Mau Club 2 back in the original LP. Weird Beach, guys. <laughs> Hello, guys, this is Mau Mau Club 2. <laughs> and we're going to be going to Marley Beach. And... Okay, there you go. 
That's, that's Max. That's my Max impression. If you know Max, you'd be aware that that is the greatest Max impression on the planet. And yes, that is arrogant to believe, but it is true. Now, this music is great, actually. It's good. Listen to it. There's a, quite a Hawaiian theme to the music and, you know, that kind of like ukulele kind of stuff and bongos and just tropical tribal fun. And I, I love it. I absolutely love it. As, as opposed to abhorring um, certain aspects of this game, like, you know, like in the last level, I do also love the bits of music in this game. Uh, oh shit, now that, that should have killed me, but I jumped and it kind of took away the pain. It, uh, it effed the pain away in the words of Peaches. Teachers of Peaches. Okay. I don't actually never really listen to Peaches in my life. I just remember that name. She was like some sexual electronic artist or something. Uh, anyway, let's not waste our usage of this. There you go. Oh shit! Did she uh, take her? I did not. I did not know hitting into that. Actually, I thought you were, back, you were next to invisible. Whoops. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, I was not going to hit that because I thought it wouldn't give us anything. Oh. And avoid. Oh, isn't that wonderful guitar sounds? I love it. I love it, Maggle. Oh, there we go. There we go. That one. Oh sh! What? What the hell was I thinking? Oh, it's like a. Okay, now this bit. This bit here is crucial. Fuck. Oh, oh god. Oh, this is the stupidest, dumbest thing I've ever done in history. This this level is just. It's like that. You you can't try and rush through it. See, look look how long it takes. You want to just hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Oh, okay. Could, could, be, could, could use this melody for something, but, you know, right, anyway. Yep. Already got him, that's good. We can just make sure we haven't missed anything, which we probably haven't. We can while we enjoy the jungle. This is meant to be a beach, apparently. This is, looks nothing like a beach, really. It's just that really barren beach. That beach that they per prohibit you from going to because it'd be a heap of dangerous bloody scorpions. I mean, like, you know, I wouldn't want to take risks at, at a beach like this. Yeah. Yet yeah, I would take risks like that because I'm that impatient, that's the thing. And then if I die, I'm in trouble because, yeah, shit. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, no, look at that. Oh, hurry up. There we go, got it. And as we head back, jump onto that one, and that one, there we go. So, patience is the key. Which, for me, is very unfortunate because, you know, I'm not a fan of it, okay. There you go, that, that, that. Now this Let's Play is not going to have time trials because I've decided who, who really needs them. Do we really want time trials? No, we're just going to be playing the levels over again. And I feel like considering I've already done a Let's Play of this game, um, why do the level for a, you know for a fourth time? Because you know fourth is not two times in the other Let's Play. Why do them again when really... Sh that's bullshit. That so should not have hit me. Unbelievable. And back. Yeah, I really should not have died from that. That's complete ball. So you also gotta be careful here. There's a guy that he jumps, or he jumps. Shit. Wow, that was very close. Holy crap. Now there's the, see those tokens we get, those um movie things, that's to unlock movie cutscenes and some of that. So I guess yes, as I was saying, like there's no real point um Yeah, there's no real point doing doing that whole thing with um uh, don't worry I'm coming back I'm just gonna get this one here there's no real point um getting yet yeah, doing the time drug because I mean I've done it yet yeah, four times it'd be four times I would have done it two in the other let's play one this is just meant to be kind of you know a reflection of the other LP and what I think of the game now and stuff and you know that's that's what the retrospective is about remember you guys will remember this is the second time I'm doing the game it's not like it's a new let's play it's really it's a rehash of another one and so I don't want to just be you know I want to try different things you know, with this one it's you know the point of the retrospective is instead of doing a one part per level or something, you do heaps in one go. You know, you make them big long parts. It's probably be it'll probably only be like probably only takes like around a half an hour or so. No, probably about just over an hour to beat uh, to beat this game. I reckon to work on the capacity that I want to do it. Um, let's do that. Shit. Oh, 81. We're actually no, I guess we're fairly close. Nothing. How many are there? Uh, wait, uh, get you first. Get you Love these little bits here. What is that? What is that thing there? You can't. There's no. Unfortunately, there's no like aim or anything like that. There's no um 
There's no, uh, what's the word? What are the, the word I'm looking for, oh, I can't use because there are preschool toys around. Shit. Shit off, you bastard. Don't. 95, 96. And I've missed four. There was one there, and that was 98. There we go. And the remaining two must just be randomly sitting around in an area I've just completely forgotten about. The more I think about it, the more I am worried that I have no idea where they are. Wait. Where could they be? Where could they be? Believe it or not, I'm not home. No. I don't know. This is fascinating. Two missing. Two wonderful things missing. In a place where I... Wow, that's almost at the very beginning of the level. Do you see what look, 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 the beginning of the level is right over here. There it is. Wow, there's two of them. That's something that's incredible. There's Marley Beach done. Now we're getting to our first boss. And if you want to call it a boss, it's really nothing. Myrtle was a bitch. She's an absolute bitch. I've Bloody hate. I wonder if Myrtle in the series, in the Lilo and Stitch series. That's something I don't know. I, I would love to know. Myrtle, though, just piss off, you disgusting woman. Anyway, here, we've got a little boss here. This is it. Well, there's no shortcut, really. It's, you know, look, basically, we go as fast as she does on a bus. Now, firstly, look at how half ass is. You see that picture there? Her icon, right? Her icon is just like a, a picture from the movie or whatever, just cut into a box. You know, tried to crop around it. I've tried, it's like they've tried to crop around half of her hair, but they just can't. Look, at, it's 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 just disgusting. It, it's just it's just lazy. That's what it is, really. There's no there's no working around it. Which okay. So the little trick with her is just to make sure you know, she gets hit by these little things like that, and that's where you, that's where you use it to get in front. There you go. Oh shit. She might actually have this one. Wait. Oh god. Wait, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're gonna win. She's gonna beat me. She beat me. She... <sighs> Jeez. Myrtle is getting good, actually. It's, uh, you know, the problem is, because the jump is almost like on a delay, right? Because, you know, you can't you can't jump so quickly at a certain point. It's like, that's, that's what happens, you know? Like, it's just it's just lame, lame gameplay, ga lame controls. But also partially my fault, because I really shouldn't know better. I've done it so many times, and really there shouldn't be a problem. But such is the way of the world. Oh, okay. There we go. So the trick is jump out there early, so you still can jump. Do that. See, look, that, that's where you got to, you know, just slow it down, calm it down, slow down the pace a bit. Oh. Look at the little, nice little backgrounds here. It feels like it's repeating, doesn't it? I think it is. There you go. There we go. We've got it now. We've got it now. We are miles in front. Oh, no, we're not. Wait, oh, what are you going to do there, hey? Done. I beat you, Myrtle. You know, show me some respect now. Put my pedal to the metal. All right. Now we get some more cutscenes. See, look, we come back to Halea Kala. Halea Kala. Halea Kala. Halea Kala. All right, let's go. It's Mr. Bubbles. Cobra Bubbles. It's Cobra. Hello, Lilo. I love you. Hello there, Lilo. Oh, hello, Mr. Bubbles. So, what brings you into town by yourself? By myself? But I'm here with Stitch. Oh. Yeah, I'm teaching him how to be good. I see. Well, why don't you try leading by example and go home like a good girl? Mmm, okay. <laughs> That's it, Stitch. Lead by example. Elvis Presley is a model citizen. If you listen to his records, that might help you understand. Come on, we can play them at the hotel afterward. <laughs> so, basically, they want us to go home. <laughs> on the way, we collect 16 vinyl records that happen to be on the floor throughout this world. Yep.
That's it, guys. That's it. We've cracked the code. That's the thing. The storyline of this game makes no sense. There's almost no motivation to do anything. It's the most, like, stupid... So I would say it was a bit, uh, you know, ADD there, just to stop my sentence because I want to listen to the music. But the music, this this track is wonderful. Um, this is a Niki Trey. This track is wonderful, a Niki track. Yeah. Uh, no, but anyway, what I, what I meant to say was... Um, yeah, like the storyline of this game is pretty much screwed. Like, I don't know if it's, it takes place in an alternate universe of the movie. It implements, it implements bits from the movie, but also bits from just like random storyline. It just makes I don't, I've got no idea what they what they were doing. It just it just seems awfully random though. Now anyway, what we're going to do is we've got to make sure we can. This is actually quite difficult. You got to. I reckon if you could speedrun this, right, there'd be a masterful way of doing doing this correctly, but. It, Today is not the day to figure that out. Right. Yeah, that is no one. Then, then, there we go. How do you get hurt? Oh, that's right. You get hurt by these. Uh, now, basically, th those ones with the yellow tops there—they're pretty much the nitro equivalent of a TNT. See, they, they destruct on arrival, um, you know, immediately. Uh, but in obviously in a TNT, that takes a while to explode, you know, or a couple of seconds. So this, this is basically similar, very similar to that. Pretty much, um, no, pretty much identical. In... Okay, there we go. Whoa! See, so just broke down that thing. Amazing. We broke the walls down like Jericho. Jericho. Because you know, I found out that Jericho thing is like a Bible reference or something. Anyway, look. So now, look. The monster is stuck by the uh, whatever that. What does that say? Lead on stitch. No. The lead on stitch sponsored train. Actually, there's another level where it's like, it's got like a lead on stitch branding on it, as if they're like gods of their place. Anyway, this is Hotel Lau, Luau, Lau, Lau, I got no idea. And it said they could play the records at the hotel. The question is, you don't think you actually can. See, so look, the camera moves in. You should be able to, oh, you'd be, it's like Scare Island. You should be able to have more interaction. That'd be cool. Oh, and someone liked my photo on Instagram. Thank you, phone, for lighting up. It's uh, Gem. Thank you, Gem. Wonderful. All right. Anyway, let's... Okay. Let's beat this boss. And now these guys, see, they're a bit of a different texture, eh? Depending on the kind of environment you're around. Um, I'm gonna we're going to do two more levels in this part. And then we're going to cut. That's just over half the game, basically. Right. I guess we've done... Think about it, we've done five. We've done six levels so far. We're going to do eight. And there's 15 levels in the whole game. So, yeah. Because the lo other, the other levels are going to be longer. You know, obviously, I want to kind of, you know... Do more. Yeah, anyway, that's what I hope happens. Just, just attack now. Go attack. There you go. I don't care if I. Yep. Yeah, okay. Okay. Turn around. Yeah. Basically, I did that because I just wanted to hurry it the hell up. Okay. So this is going to take us to a level called Mokihana Gardens. Yep, Mokihana Gardens. Uh, that's the that's the scene from the end of the end of the movie, isn't it? That that picture. Uh, so is this where in the movie it is? Anyway, so there's a little thing on here. I remember I talked about this in Angus's Let's like Play This Game, which is recent. The music in this one's great. It's got a great garden feel. It, uh, it really is nice. Like, just quality. Ready to listen to the melody. Great stuff. Just great. It feels like what this feels like it's borrowing melody from some you know famous song or something. There must be I reckon some of them are like borrowed, you know. Anyway, well, that's our third hit and die. So look, here you go, look, Lilo and Stitch, a monument in Mokihana Gardens. As if there's some kind of like hero. Heroes of the gardens. It makes no sense. Like, logic in this game, look, 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 they're meant to be just two kids, you know, they're just living their life and yet they are worshipped on something would have would have taken cost millions of you know of Hawaiians taxpayers money to, to construct you know you, you're etching in that you know rock wall or whatever granite marble whatever texture it could be just just an absolute ripoff on the game's behalf you know just disgraceful I do love this little thing here this is this sort of thumbnail my old let's play right. speaking of thumbnails I haven't done a thumbnail in ages I need okay anyway now this is this is annoying we gotta kind of there you go and three See, you gotta be really, you gotta basically get close to him, run away just before he bites you, or she, you know. You know, I've always kind of assumed those enemies to be female, I don't know why. You know, they're powerful, no, they're strong independent plants that don't need no male plant. That don't need no photosynthesis. Right. Strong independent woman. Right. 
we got two, look, we got two. Now, actually, they will come in somewhat in handy. Seriously, I'm not kidding. They actually will. Right. See that jump there? That was some speedrunning jumps right there. Right. I remember this level was what cost me a speedrun against Angus. Uh, this, this, this level. Oh, shit, there we go. I got that one before he hit me. That was very lucky. Usually, you just, you just wait. You just be patient. You don't, you don't try to hurt anyone. You just be patient and patient and patient. And Oh, shit. Look at that background. It's wonderful. What the... Something just lit up behind me. Oh, shit. These enemies here are just... Oh, they're scum. Scum of the earth. Jeremy Kyle would think they're scum. And that's saying something. You are scum. Okay. Oh, I'm on, I'm on two bits of health, that's so good. Yeah. I want to see what you can do here, what you can do, yes you can jump, there you go. How good was that? There we go. 86, we're pretty close now. Now we're not going to do Guava River, we're going to save that for the first level of the second part. Second and final part, that's how small this retrospect is out. Very short, this is just a two part one because this game is very short, very quick. Easy. Done. Go. And what is over here? That's right, the last one. Four out of four. There you go. No. Oh, shit. I tried to rush. I didn't get what I want, not what I need. I, I'm actually not even having any use for these. All uh... oh, right, yeah. Sorry. No. Jump off. See? There you go. I want to be a badass. Like that. There we go. So I'm going to be able to show you that little map jump thing that we get to do, which is really cool. Like, just get to, you know, fly like we do on, uh, Pokemon games. In Pokemon games. Oh, fuck off. That happened. The exact same thing happened last time. <sighs> let me get up. Let me get up. Let me get up. Oh, shit. There's our three. 95. 100. On eight lives. Okay. So. It is Mokihana Gardens completed. Now, I love the little bit here, Forest Camp. This is obviously based on the movie as well. Have a look at this. This is wonderful, actually. You get to see a ship crash land. Oh, no, I guess not. Did it crash? Did it crash? Mm. No, it didn't. Now, how cool would it be if you get to go in there? That'd be amazing. Now, actually, you see this, right? Yep. Here he is. We'll just find him now, so we have to fight him later. I thought, why not? Let's just fight. I want to fight. There you go. Hit him once. Hit him. Go, hit me, hit me. Just fucking hit me. There you go. Uh, these enemies just suck ass. Just go, go, go. Go, hit me. Yeah. There you go. Come on, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Yeah, there you go. Can you glitch? Wait. Go on. Fuck you, you prick. Alright. No. Yep. Can you go any further, mate? There you go, done. Now, have a look at this, right? Watch this. Through here? This is some other level. Takes you to that place there. Now, I'm going to have to press select. And we need to go to... What level was it? What le Where are you right now? Where are we? Wait, Surf Shack. Hotel Luau, Mokukata Gardens. That's all right, we gotta go here. Okay. All right, so, how well does this load? <laughs> Pretty decent. So we're gonna do the third level, which I remember is a famous part of my Let's Play because it had Angus's brother. It had Liam, Nintendo, Mr. Nintendo, in there. Look at this, ready? Another formidable enemy. Ugh. Yeah, we get it, we get it. By this point, they should be more creative. What is with this game, the Monsters Inc. not having proper bosses either? Like, Monsters Inc. bosses are, sl are slides. You are literally sliding down a slippery slope. That's the, yeah, that's no, that's no, like, that's the correct term. Like, that is exactly what you're doing. There's no figurative about that. It is, it is, that is what you do. You, can we just enter, the, let me just enter the level. Fuck off. Just, okay. The thing is, there's got to be a way to kill these guys quicker. Just... Okay, you get it, we get it. We want you to hit me. Go. And done. 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 There you go. Yep, cool. Press start. I'll oh, press start. It kind of fixes it. Now, anyway, this is the beach that we deserve. This is the beach from the movie. Haleakala Beach. Haleakala Beach. Well, it's near 
Halakalaka. It must be just a place name, like an actual place name. Maybe in Ruo. Anyway, look at that movie background. You can, look, this is a picture of that character from the movie. Yes, they're, they're, like, they're 2D images stuck up here. See, look. Who is it? Now, here's the fat man's brother. That's basically, that basically is the fat man. It's just it's so slightly different. Hence, he's a brother. He's a brother. Now, see, look, that, that one you can get by jumping. Now, isn't that wonderful there? Yeah, this, this whole thing here. How cool is that? Firstly, pissed off. Shit. Shit. Well, that's what happens when you you use language towards this game. It's just, it doesn't, it doesn't appreciate it, you know? So yeah, this is Haleakala Beach. Haleakala Beach. And, um, yeah, it's it's more of a beach, as you can see. I like looking at the beach. I just love looking at this game's weird graphics. Like, it's just they've just taken, and these enemies, these enemies can fuck right off, okay? Go to hell. Such a pain in the ass, so. Okay, there we go. No, seriously, they suck. Look, how do you avoid? Get the fuck away, you asshole. There's no way of avoiding it. Okay. And this, look at the blast radius. This would blow up, you piece of shit. Don't they? Christ. It's angering me. And look, there's no one at that bar. Clearly, no one. Clearly, it's a very slow deep day for the beach. This is meant to be a tourist location. No one gives a crap. How disappointing of them. Four of them, sorry. Right. Now, let's. There you go. Ooh. They take, they take a while for some reason. I don't know why. Let's get this slide. Look at that. Look at that picture of Lilo. It's a picture of Lilo. Wonderful. It's, a, it's on a coin too. It's a collectible coin because clearly she's a she's an idol in this. She's a famous idol in Hawaii. Like you know, she's just everyone wants everyone wants to have pictures of her. There's monuments of her basically. You know, it's, she's just she's a celebrity before the events of the movie even transpire. So isn't that just truly amazing continuity? Right. Yeah, look at him. He just kicks you. He's, he's, that guy is from the movie, I'm pretty sure. Or at least the, even the fat guy, I think, guy is from the movie. Anyway, there we go. Oh, look, so many, so many starfish. Is that what they are, starfish? Yeah, they're starfish. Patrick Starfish. No. Get out the way, please. Thank you. No. Now, contrary to popular suggestion, I guess, within the community, uh, unfortunately, you can not drop a fat guy on a fat guy. Uh, trust me, we've tried this, we've experimented the concept. These fat guys cannot be killed. So, you cannot drop a fat guy on a fat guy. I'm awfully sorry. Is that a bit of censorship on the part of the actual poster? Look, look at that random. See that bit at the top there with three and four? See, it's just... Uh, I guess maybe she's cut in half, I don't know. Anyway, it looks lame. That's my, Sorry, that's my honest assessment. It, it looks lame, yep. Yeah, we need to get this bit of health, thank you. Oh, because we're gonna lose it when we... No, oh, wait. Sucked him. I get so satisfied when I kick that guy's head in, even though I don't kick him. I, more like I use a, a voodoo charm. What, it, what is it? Is it from the movie? Probably. I'm guessing it's, it's probably yeah, it's probably something they just can't be bothered to explain. So yeah, this actually kills enemies. The other, you know, at least Stitch, he can he can attack. I think he can spin people. I think. Never really used the spin because who would? But I mean, who would want to use the spin when you got the the Breath and the, you know the roll and the triangle attack, you know. Right. Go. There we go. Ninety-seven. Please be, please be a hundred. Yes. All right. Good going. Thank you for the moral support, Lilo. And we'll end the part right here. That's wonderful. All right. So in. Part two, the final part, we're not going to be going to the surf shack, we're going to ex exit the surf shack first. We're going to be going to Guava River and the remaining levels, the remaining six levels in the game, I believe it is six. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Continuity, he's moved, he's here now. Oh, what do you got to say, man? That, that's the boyfriend. Hey, talk to me, talk to me. Talk to me, he's trying to... Hey, come on. You know, you're a rude prick. Who do you think you are? Right. Anyway, let's go to Forest Camp. There you go. 
Okay, so thank you very much for watching this first part of its retrospective. I'm glad to be back playing Lilo and Stitch, even if it's only for really a collective hour. But um, yeah, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you in the next part where we do the remaining levels. It's going to be a lot of fun, I hope. Please tell me what you think of Lilo and Stitch, because this was an old LP, you know, the original one. I'd love to see what you guys all think. See you then.